Hey guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to another GTA LCS 100% walkthrough video. Today we're gonna do some missions. We have a mission for Salvatore Leone, we have a few missions for JD and we have a mission for Vincenzo as well, the last mission for Vincenzo. So let's do them, we have lots to do today, this video could be a little bit long, so yeah, let's go, let's begin. Contraband. Shut up, you ungrateful bitch! I'll knock you into next week if I hear another word from you! Oh, that's right, big dick. What are you gonna do, hate me? <laughs> yeah, big dick. That's the only time you touch me these days! Why the fuck would I want to touch you? I don't like use goods. You revolt me. Me? Revolt you? What? Yeah, revolt! Oh, please. You know what? My daddy was right when he said you were nothing but a fat Yeah, swan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tony. Hello. I want my money, old man. Get out of here, you tramp. Hey, Anthony, you're an angel of mercy. Women, what are you gonna do about them, huh? Luckily, I can trust someone in my life. You, Tony. You're very important to me. Did I ever tell you that? Aww. You can't even get it up, you old bastard. Not for you. I don't like using public toilets, you slut. Burn! Very important. So listen, it's you and me now. We're in charge. We got those fools on the run. How would you know? You're more interested in hanging out with men. And you're only happy when you got your drawers around your ankles and your back against the wall. Burn number two. Christ, I met rabbits who like to fuck less than you. Burn number so three. Listen, fuck this is you, important. Salvatore Leone, you no dick bullying, white beaten piece of a shit. Fuck me? Shit. Fuck you! In fact, everyone has. Burn number four. Anyway, I got a shipment of you know what coming in. This is going to put us, you and me, on the map big time. Everything should run smooth. I just need someone. Someone I trust to take care of things for me. All right, Tony. I'll talk to you later. And another thing, I never met a girl with hydraulic underwear. It amazes me. Christ, why did I marry her? I was looking for a tramp. I married a slut. I must have really pissed someone off in my past life. I'll tell you that much. So many burns. She's probably dead from burnation, <laughs> not starvation, burnation. Anyway, this mission is pretty cool, very interesting. As you can see, we have three people we need to pick up for backup. Now, the, the thing about this mission is that you don't actually have to pick these guys up. You might think that you have to get a three-seated vehicle, you have to get to them, get them all, take them to the location and whatnot. But no, you can just kill two of them. Actually, you can, th can kill three of them, it doesn't matter. If all of them die, it does not matter. However, if you take one person, he's gonna be actually very helpful because after you go to the mission start, a few guys are gonna focus on you, only on you, they're gonna start shooting you and since you're only the only person there, they're all gonna shoot at you. But if you have one person there, they're gonna focus on you but also on that other person. So if you haven't passed the vigilante mission and the paramedic mission, beforehand it's gonna be pretty helpful because you're gonna have way less life than I do right now so let's go let's go to Portland docks you know what I'm gonna go through here I always always when I go down here I fall okay so stupid I could take the stunt jump which is a lot easier but I usually fall there too and I don't want to do the stunt jumps too yet the stunt jumps are gonna be in one separate video which is not this video. In this video we're gonna do so many main missions. And we have a deal with the Colombians. And you might remember who this guy is. Hey, yes, sir. You were supposed to be here hours ago. Quit whining, Miguel. You got the stuff? Hey, I'm a busy man, Tony. Next time I'll find another buyer. Yeah, I doubt you find anybody else who pays what we do. <laughs> I like you, Tony. You got big balls, like a bull. I know. You got our money? Sure. What? You greaseball fuck! You bitches. So, as you saw, they focused not only on me, but on the other people too. And it took a chunk of my health. Sometimes you get stuck like that. Let's go. Now, in this mission, you're gonna get chased by the cops. Take a bribe from here. Also, you can take from here an FBI car if you want to, the FBI car is not that helpful in this game. So, as you can see we have to go to pen spray or gather bribes. I'm gonna do neither of these things. 
after you go to pay and spray or take a bribe, you have to take this thing to a garage. I know exa where exactly the garage is. The game does not actually check if you have cops after you. You can just go to the location, no problem. The garage is over here, to the right. You can just park the vehicle in there and the game does not check if you have cops or not. You usually should not have cops after you. But I do. As you can see, mission has been... Passed. 1000 bucks. I'm gonna wait for a phone call. Hey Tony, it's JD. I hear it all over, you're headed for big things. I just hope you don't go forgetting your old pal JD when you get to the top, right? Hey, drop by sometime, okay buddy? Okay, so before we go there we have to change clothes because we cannot go to the titty bar with this outfit. Because this is the only outfit. So I'm gonna go change, go save the game, go pick up some more armor and I'll be back with you guys with the next mission. Next mission for JD. JD. Hello. Tony, thank God you're here. Oh, I'm sweating like my uncle in a schoolyard. Oh, my mind's going crazy. What are we gonna do? Uh, what? Your oh, uncle's a God, pervert. I can't believe it. He's gonna cut my balls off. He's gonna put him in a vice. Not necessarily in that order. Ew. Oh, God. I feel like uh, the day the FBI searched my hard drive. Oh, my heart's racing. Uh, you got any Valium or uh, Rohypnol? What about. Oh, no, no. See, I got too many of those. What's going on? Oh, God, I can't believe this. Why am I to blame? It's not my fault. But you know Salvatore. Oh, he's gonna get the vice squad on my ass. Oh my god, it's gonna be like those statutory rape charges. Have you ever been in prison on statutory rape charges, man? They come in at you with the showers! Ew. Oh god, and she was 18. Oh my god, this, this, this is gonna be worse! Listen, you babbling cocksucker, one god's name is wrong. It's Salvatore. He was kidnapped while leaving the club. Well, why didn't you say so instead of making me listen to that crap? Come on! You dumbass. Why don't you just tell me I'm gonna do- I'm gonna save the day, I'm the superhero here. That's one of the guys that took Salvatore! Look at his hands. Okay, let's go. Before you start this mission, get yourself a bike. Any bike is gonna do. It does not matter if you're gonna get a bike, you could use a car too. But I find that the bike is a little bit better. Now basically you have to go to a certain location and you have to kill some people. If you are on a bike, you can shoot from the bike. If you're not on a bike, you have to shoot on foot. Basically, you have to get out of the car. So it does not matter to me and to you what you're gonna use, but I prefer using a bike. So let's see what they're holding, Mr. Salvatore. That's a pretty nice banana, dude. Can I buy it? There he is, peekaboo. Where is he? In a trunk? Good. We're taking him to the crusher. The boss wants him flatter than pizza. At least they didn't flat him before he arrived. Stupid JD, you could have told me earlier. Stupid ass JD. Come on, dudes. Hello. Get out. Thank you very much. And you can just take the car right now. And you have to go to his mansion. Let's go. Sometimes you can pop your tire. Ah, I actually popped the tire. Okay. You, Mr. Leone? It's me, Tony. I don't worry about a thing. I'm getting you out of there. It's just how the game is. Sometimes you. Sometimes a, a headshot happens, if you, even if you don't want to. Sometimes a tire is popped. Sometimes Salvatore dies. And actually, this is my second attempt. The first attempt, it locked on to Salvatore, even though he was inside the trunk. And there was no visible line between me and him. He just locked onto his head and he died. Even though there was no actual way for me for hitting him, you know. What kind of driving was that? You trying to kill me? Mr. Leone, boss, I'm sorry. Stop complaining. Tell you? Sons of bitches, they think they can do that to me? I'll tear their fucking hearts out. This doesn't end here. For Christ's sake, Tony, you saved my ass. Call me Sal. Oh, Mr. Big Boss is mad. We cannot wait for him to destroy the stupid Sindakos. Let's go with the next mission for JD. This mission is awesome. Let's do it. The Guns of Leone. 
Thank God! Tony! J.D., hey, I'm at the back of a... Uh... I know. I saw you go in. I've been praying you turn up. Salvatore's gone apeshit. He's coming down here personally to kill every Sundaco he can find. Yeah. So I took a hike. Look, I put a rifle on the roof across the street. Make sure no harm comes to Salvatore. Okay, dude, no props. So he has hidden the sniper rifle, as you probably heard. I hope you're listening to what's happening in the game. You're, well, if only you listen to me, it's okay too. You're here to listen for me anyway. So, we have a sniper to work with. And you don't... Uh, we, give, give it to me. I have another sniper. Basically, you cannot... You don't have to use this sniper. The game gives you a sniper, but you don't have to actually use it. And here they hey, come. Someone dropped a dollar. Plop. Not to hit me. See me. Okay, we have to basically save these people and save Salvatore. Now the game wants you to use a sniper, but hey, no, 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 no. snipers on a manual aim system is not a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is use this, go on the floor. Come on. You can go to the roof, of course, and use a sniper if you're good with snipers and whatnot. Also on the PS2 emulator, using snipers is pretty much impossible. It is possible, but you have to play the game at 15 FPS or something like that, which is not advised. So yeah, snipers on the PS2 version are terrible to use. If you care about FPS, of course about game smoothness. Come on, holy crap, man! Oh my goodness, stupid aim. Okay, that's it, that's it for the mission. Pretty cool mission, but sometimes it's so derpy, it locks on to people I don't want it to lock on to. Bam! The final blow was for Salvatore. And as you'll see, this is under new ownership, and this is how and why in GTA 3 this is no longer a Sendako Tiri Bar, but it's owned by Luigi. Next mission for JD. Calm before a storm. So, Salvatore clean house, huh? And now he's fixing up yours. It's all mine now, Tony! Those cocksucking Sendakos all been kicked out. Listen, I hear the Sicilians are trying to broker peace between the families. Sal's got some heavy up at his place right now. The thing is, he smells a rat. He wants someone to go up there and follow this guy, see where he goes. No props, we have to again follow a person. So let's go to the Salvatore's mansion and go and see what the big deal is about. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention something. In the first mission in this video, we saw that we killed Miguel. We actually killed Miguel, who was in GTA 3. That's a huge oversight by Rockstar Games. Seriously, we killed him and he's in GTA 3. Again. And in GTA 3, we, actually I'm not gonna tell you what happened in GTA 3 because you may not have played that game yet. I don't know what's going on with my stupid driving today. Or any day for that matter. <laughs> anyway, let's go here. You could use a bike too. Does not matter for this mission. This mission is standard. Pretty easy mission. Nothing. Huge is gonna happen, like unusual or something. And there he is. We have to follow this chopper. This mission is pretty cool. And also there is a way to get the chopper. Yeah, there is a way to get the chopper. Now, in this game we don't have choppers. I mean, we there is no spawn location for a chopper. You cannot find it on the street or in an airport or whatever. You can just steal them from missions. Especially from this mission. This is one of the two missions which you can steal a helicopter in and you can actually fly it. So Rockstar Games left this feature in the game. The controls for helicopter flying. But they did not actually put helicopters which we can fly with. That's deliberate because on many roofs there's no actual roofs. There's no solid section on top of the roof. So if you go on top of it, you're gonna fall. And that's probably why they took them out of spawn locations. They don't want you to fly. Oh, 
Come siamo rimasti d'accordo, if you do my associates work for them, you'll be well rewarded. Hepburn Heights will belong to the Diablos. And yes, it will. In the future, it will. In GTA 3, there's the Diablo car, Diablo Stallion, which is a pretty cool looking car. In GTA 3, I like it a little bit more though. It's a little bit better looking. Come on, dude. Let's go. This is the new ownership of the bar over here. And it's going pretty nicely. So let's go to the location. We have to again follow this chopper. This mission is awesome. Just the premise of this mission is so good. The mission itself, I mean, it's nothing special, but the premise of it, the, the idea of this mission is so good. In GTA 5, we also had a same mission, a similar mission, which is a little bit better. We had to follow a plane. It was a lot more action packed than this. This is still cool, though. Very cool. Come on, Heli Choppy. We're very close to the destination, and the destination is over here. On top of this roof. Come on, Choppy. Land, please. Choppy. Let's go on top of the roof and continue the mission. So keep quei bastardi de Leone tied down in Portland. And when my associates control this city, you'll be taken care of. Ci pensiamo noi. Over there! It's the Leone! How'd you know? So I could also show you... Hey, why using this stupid weapon? I could also show you how to steal a helicopter, but there's no point. Helicopters not, are not actually useful in this game much. They're also only useful for, I guess, for packages, package hunting. But I already got all the packages and there's no point. Let's kill this dude. We have a few stars after us. That's completely fine. There's a bunch of people over there too. You know what, let's use this. Come over here, buddies. Let me destroy your faces. That's it, that's it for the mission. The police stars are gone and we can continue with the last JD mission in the game. So let's go there and activate it. Last mission for JD. The Made Man. Tony! JD! It's all happening today. I'm gonna be a made man. Me! JD the Untouchable. <laughs> God help us all. I've waited a long time for this. It never would have happened without you, Tony. Oh. Hey, I'm crying over here. Come on. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? Mickey. The ceremonies in Howard. Hey, Mickey. I'm so happy to see you guys together. This is gonna be a sweet ride. We're gonna, we're gonna make him mate. Oh, I cannot wait. This is great. It is. I slaved for the Sandakos for years and nothing. Those bastards kept me down just cause a little I was blood in my veins. But Salvatore, God bless him. He don't let a little thing like that get in the way. Oh, daddy, no! Oh, daddy. We have to kill these guys. I like stopping here because it's a good vantage point to kill these guys. We have to wait for them to get out of the car. You can also shoot them while they're in the car. But I don't want to because that could be problematic. And the uh, command, I'll aim on him. Good. And the uh, mate procedure. Mate procedure. <laughs> We're gonna make him make him a mate man over here, or we we. <laughs> hey, are we there? Uh, where's Salvatore? Tony, the first drink's on me. Hey, the guy was a fucking rat. He screwed over his own boss. This scratch yard. Salvatore could never trust that motherfucker. Up the fucking corner river. You could drive me off on the way. If the cops see the car like this, they'll pull us over for sure. This is super unfortunate. I actually liked JD. Even though he was a pervert and a weirdo and whatnot, he was working for Sindakos for a while, but still he's a good character, a good GTA character. Now, if the cops see you, they're gonna start chasing you, and it's pretty random when it's gonna happen. It could happen on the first turn, it could not happen at all. 
in this mission, it basically depends on if a cop is gonna spawn near you or not. Hey, remember, dump the car in the river. After I see the car, they're gonna start chasing you. So what I do is go on this big ass street and go straight. We have to dump it in the river. So let's go here and jump off. And that is it for this mission. Pretty cool and interesting mission and a pretty easy one as well. Unfortunately, we don't have any JD missions because obviously he is in the <laughs> water right now and we have to wait for another phone call. Hey, it's me, Vincenzo. Hello. Oh, what the hell do you want? Bitch. Someone to pick up your laundry or wipe your ass? Oh, come on. No, don't be like that. Listen, I feel bad about everything. Come on, drop by my place. I got something for you. Yeah, what's that? A pair of concrete boots? Nice slice of arsenic pie? Forget about it. No, oh, come on, Tone. I feel bad about what went down. Sure. Salvatore heard about it and told me we both need to grow up. This is me growing up. I'm sorry. Come on. You're sorry? Seriously? Seriously, I do not believe you. Tony, please do not believe this guy. Be on your toes. Why do you fall for this shit, Tony? I have no idea. The Portland Chainsaw Massacre. Vinny, I'm here. Where the hell are you? What is this? Tony! Como esta? I knew you'd call. Como esta? Listen, I'm down at the Portland docks. We got a big shipment just come in. Get yourself down here. I'm on board the big freighter. I don't know, Vinny. I got stuff to do. Look, I know I've been an asshole to you, Tony, and for that, I'm truly sorry. Sure. But from now on, we'll be like partners, okay? Better than partners. Brothers. Sure. Now, come on. What do you say? It's what Salvatore wants. No. Okay, for Salvatore. But if you pull any of that daddy bullshit, you're a dead man. For Salvatore! It's like my battle cry. For Salvatore! A good battle cry would be Potato Salad! You guys have no reference of that, probably. If you watch OOG, you would exactly know what where that came from. Anyway, I'd like to shout out to OOG. Anyway, let's continue on. This is where you have to be at. This is the mission. Let's go. Who's that? A ghost! <laughs> so, take this weapon. Take this weapon. If you don't have it at your safe house, take this weapon. You could have any weapon in the game. You could have rocket launchers, you could have M4, you could have grenades. But the best weapon for this mission is this one. The code python is a must here. Yeah! I'm gonna cut you up, little man! Let's boogie! We have a few people to kill. As you can see, you have to aim and the code python is perfect for this shit. It's awesome. Destroy. Basically one shot kills them. That's what's so great about it. One shot kills them. No other weapon is gonna do that, and I mean, an M4 is probably gonna be able to do something similar, but not exactly this. That's it. And there he is, Mr. Big shot himself. Is that dumbass Kim dead yet? Hate to disappoint you, Benny. Yeah, bitch. You son of a bitch! Why can't you just die already? You're the bitch. You should have never come back, Tony. I whoop my fingers to the bone for Salvatore, and you just come wandering back to town, and he's all Tony this and Tony that. This is my town, Tony! My town! I deserve you this, dude. You ain't taking it away from me! I'm gonna enjoy this. And I'm gonna enjoy this, too. So, let's reload first of all. Tuk -tuk. And use the same weapon for this as well. I like so. Plop, plop, and plop, and plop. And that's it. Mission has been passed, and Vincenzo is dead! So worth it. Amazing mission, love it so much because they killed him. Ah, you're so great. You're so great to kill this asshole. So let's go back home, and end this video, and end this mission, and end the life of... Well, I did end the life of... Oops, <laughs> wrong turn. I did end the life of Vincenzo. It was pretty sweet. I love missions like this when I, where I kill important characters who I hate, and that's it. You can come back here and do the slash TV mission, which is a side mission, 
And basically that machine does the same exact thing. Phone call. Tony, it's Salvatore. We got big trouble. Get your ass over here pronto. No props. So in the next episode we're gonna do some Salvatore missions and unlock Stoughton Island. I cannot wait. But that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.